The voters in Ireland rejected the proposals to replace constitutional references. The referendum was tabled to replace language surrounding a woman's duties at home. It was rejected by 73.9% of the voters, while 26.1% voted in favour of the referendum. Now, the Irish Prime Minister, who campaigned for a yes vote, conceded defeat as the two constitutional amendments were rejected by an overwhelming majority. The proposed amendments were headed towards rejection in the early vote tallies. We accept responsibility for the result. Uh, it was our responsibility to convince the majority of people to vote yes, um, and we clearly failed to do so. Uh, I think we struggled to convince people um, of the necessity or need for the referendum at all, uh, let alone uh, the detail and the wording. And that's obviously something we're going to have to reflect on. For some people, it was the fact that they wanted the concept of motherhood uh, to remain in the constitution and be a distinct thing. Speaking about the no votes for the referendum, the opposition argued that the wording of the constitutional amendments were poorly drafted and not thought through. Because actually in a liberal democracy, you know, progress is achieved by actually the competition of ideas. You actually need an opposition to stand up against the government, to compete with ideas and then to try to find the truth in that debate. The rejected referendum was seen as part of Ireland's evolution from a conservative nation to a liberal society where divorce and abortions were once considered illegal. In Western European Catholic nation, divorce was later legalized in a 1995 referendum. The Irish voters also supported same-sex marriage in 2015 and also repealed a ban on abortions in the year 2018. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.